Hello and welcome to The Real Unreal. In this episode, we are going to be learning about animation notifies. We will add different types of effects which will be synchronized to the animations of walking and landing of the character, like sounds, particle effects, and our own custom notify which will emit an impulse to all the actors that are simulating physics, just as we see in the background video. Let's get started. Animation notifications, also known as animation notifies or just notifies, provide a way to create repeatable events synchronized to animations. These events can be sounds such as footsteps for walk or run animations, spawning particle effects such as a weapon muscle flash like we can see in the example, your own custom notifies, that means custom code you want to run at certain point in the animation, and more. In this video, we are going to be learning about these three types of notifies. Let's start creating a new project using the third person template. Make sure that both blueprint and starter content are selected. It's important to select the starter content because we are going to be using those assets to create our sounds and particle effects. Select the folder and a name for the project and then click create. With the project created, let's open the content browser with control space and search for the animation where we are going to add the notifies. It's located under content, characters, mannequins, animations, queen. Queen is the default character of the third person template. Now we open the run animation that is called mf underscore run underscore forward. Once we open the animation, we can see in the lower center of our screen the panel with the notify section. Here is where all our notifies are going to live. Before adding new notifies, if we want to keep everything organized, we should group them in different tracks. Notify tracks are essentially groups of notifies. Let's hover over the notify section, click on add notify track and add a new track called sounds, where all our sound related notifies will be located. With our sounds track created, we are in condition to add our first notify. For that, let's right click over the sounds track and select the add notify option. We are going to see a drop down that, for now, contains all the notifies the engine has by default. Later in the video, we will be able to find here our own custom notifies. From this list, we are going to select play sound. This is the notify that will allow us to reproduce sounds in a certain frame of the animation. We can drag it to the frame of our choice. Once added, we can select it and that will populate the details panel with the parameters of the notify. In this panel, we can select which sound is going to be reproduced and set other variables like the volume. I am going to select the explosion cue sound, which you should also have if you added the startup content. And I also will set the volume multiplier to 0.25. Every time the animation passes through the frame with the notify, the sound will be reproduced. Now I'm going to copy the notify for every frame the feed of the character is on the ground to set the explosion sound as footsteps. We can guide us with these other elements to align our notifies. If we now go to our level and press play, once we start running, the explosion sound is reproduced. In this case, the animation blueprint of the character is reproducing the animation. Every time we use this animation, all the notifies are going to be executed. Now let's take a look at how to add particle effects with notifies. Let's head back to the running animation and create a new track. I will call it FX. Right click on the track, add notify and select play particle effect. Align it with the first sound notify and click on it. When selected, we can define which particle effect is going to be played in the details panel. I will choose P explosion, which you should also have if you added the starter content. I will also reduce the scale of the effect to 0.25 to make it smaller. Now, copy the notify on each footstep as we did for the sound. You will notice that the particle effects are not tied to the feed. 
If we select one of the notifies, we will see that there's a parameter called socket name. This is the name of the socket in the skeleton of the character to which the vertical effect will be attached. Unreal Engine 5 skeletons already have sockets for the feet. To find them, let's go to the skeleton tab and search for the feet. Foot L socket and foot R socket are the ones we need. Copy the name, go back to the animation and set the corresponding socket name to each notify. Foot L for the notifies on the left foot and foot R for the ones on the right foot. As you can see, the particle effects now stick to the feet. Let's go to the level and press play. The explosion prickle effects are there along with our explosion sounds. Last but not least, let's create our own notify. First, let's add a component to the character blueprint so we can interact with it from our custom notify. This is the component that will help us emit an impulse with each footstep. Go to content, third person, blueprints and open the character blueprint. Under the components tab, click on add, search for radial force and select it. With the component added, select it and go to the details panel. Let's change two parameters, radius to 400 and impulse strength to 100,000. This will increase the radius and the strength of the impulse this component emits. Now control space to open the content browser and create a new folder on content. I will name it Anim Notifies. In this new folder, right click and create a new blueprint class. Click on all classes and search for Anim Notify. This is the parent class we shall use when creating new notifies. Click on select and set the name to AN underscore fire impulse. AN stands for animation notify. Make sure to compile and save and now open the new notify. You will see this empty interface. In the function section, we want to override one specific function called receive notify. This is the function that is going to be executed on the frame we choose using this notify. We have three parameters available in this function, but we only need the mesh comp for our case. Drag from mesh comp and search for get owner node. This will get the owner of the mesh, in our case, the third person blueprint. Now cast the owner to third person blueprint, so we have access to the radial force component. Connect the execution pins and from third person character, search for get radial force. Scroll down and you will find the component. From radial force, Look for a function called fire impulse. This is the function that emits an impulse with the parameters that we previously configured in the component. Connect the execution pins and our custom notify is ready to be used. Compile and save and head back to the running animation. Let's create a new track for our custom notify. I will call it custom. Right click on the new track add notify and you can see that our custom notify is now in the list. Select it and make a copy for each footstep. Go to the level, press play and walk towards the blue cubes that are simulating physics. You can see that now we emit an impulse that affects these actors. Now let's get some practice applying all that we have learned in another animation. Open the content browser and go to Character, Mannequins, Animations, Many. The landing animation is shared between Many and Queen, and that's the animation that we're going to use. Open the land animation and create the same tracks we have in the running animations. Sounds, FX, and Custom. Look for a frame in the animation where you want to add the notifies. In my case, I will use the frame number 2. On sounds, add the play sound notify. 
select the explosion cue file and in this case I will leave the volume on 1 because I want this explosion to be louder. On FX, add the Play Particle FX Notify, select the P Explosion Particle System, and I will increase the scale to 3 to make it bigger. On Custom, add the Fire Impulse Notify. Now there's an issue. I want this explosion to be stronger, so I need a way to set the strength of the impulse from the Notify. For that, Let's go to the Fire Impulse Notify and make some changes. First, let's add a variable called Impulse Strength of type Float and make it public. This will expose it on the Animation Notify details back in the animation file. Compile and set the default value to 100,000. So we match the value we already set in the component in the third person character blueprint. Let's make some room just before firing the impulse. From the Radial Force component, drag and search for Set Impulse Strength. We will set this to our new variable. Connect the execution pins, and this is enough to be able to customize the strength of the impulse from the Notify. In the animation, click on the Notify, and you will see the Impulse Strength parameter available to be modified. I will set it to 250,000. Go to the level, press play, and try jumping. When we land, a bigger explosion occurs. In order to visualize this better, let's add some extra cubes. Select any cube, press Alt and drag to copy. This can be done with multiple cubes at the same time. Once you have enough cubes, Press play again and have some fun jumping. That's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If it's the case, I invite you to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on social networks. I'll be uploading Unreal Engine 5 tutorials frequently, and I'm working on a full course for beginners. Thank you for joining, and see you in the next video.